everybody, it's Christy from RG Bits by K back with another video. Today we're going to open the August sketch box. So here it is. Let's check out the artwork on it by Jebby, Debbie Yacinda. Look how pretty this is. She did it with the, this is the August box. She did this with the June box. How gorgeous. I love it. I love birds. Anyhow, I'm very excited for this box. Let's see what we get inside and if it's worth it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, here's our piece of art. Really like that. How beautiful. Looks like gray and green. Made by Nikolai Shaver. Here's their social information. Super cool. It says self taught artist and designer and enjoys experimenting with mediums to create unique and exciting styles. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, I'm not gonna look at that yet. So let's see what we've got. All right, so I'm gonna start the paper. This is Hannah Mule Britannia, which hot pressed watercolor paper, 300 GSM. Doesn't say it's 100% cotton, but probably pretty decent paper for Sketchbox. That's exciting. Ooh, we have fluid graphite from Kiritaki, it looks like. we ha I got some of this in a sketch box. We had a graphite box in like November and it was really good. Let's see, okay, a brush. Ooh, this is a Princeton Velvet Touch brush. Okay, so Princeton Velvet Touch is a good brush. This is a chisel blender, size four interested to let's open this bad boy up and see what it looks like out of the packaging okay oh yeah oh yeah that's going to be nice and it's going to be able to get fine details but also do nice big brush strokes so that's pretty cool this is, oh, it's chipped. Oh, yeah, I hope it sharpens okay. Koenor Geoconda white chalk pen, okay? So we'll see. It looks like maybe it's pastel, either pastel or chalk in a pen. <laughs> okay, well, let's start with the good stuff. We have acrylic gouache. This is Holbein, I think. Yeah, it's Holbein acrylic gouache. This is good stuff. So I love gouache, and Holbein is the, be is the best gouache I've worked with. A Copic multi-liner, which is, again, nice. What size? 1.0. So we've got put these down for a second. Um, a really, really chunky nib here on this boy, but that's good. That'll be nice for outlining and doing any fine line details. Okay, and then we have these, which... Okay, guys, listen. There's nothing wrong. I have a set of these Emot um, Uni pens, but like they're really good for my bullet journal. I don't really see them as an art supply. So I'm kind of bummed about that. These are like, especially with the gouache and this, I feel like I would rather have had like another smaller tube of a second color of gouache. I don't know. That's that's a bit disappointing. Um, is there a sticker? Is there? It don't appear. Okay, it appears like I was shorted a sticker. Oh well, that's okay. I have so many Sketchbox stickers, so that's fine. All right, so I am going to swatch everything out. Okay, now that everything is swatched out, let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of this box. So first of all. Um, Let's start with the fact that the paper is pretty awesome. It's hot press watercolor paper, which for this kind of a project feels right, feels good. Um, I really think that it's nice paper. Next, let's talk about the good. The gouache is awesome. I really like it. Beautiful color. Um, it mixes actually really neatly with the graphite to create extra colors like these are some more greens and gray greens that I got when I mixed the two together. So this stuff is great. Excited to work with it. The fluid graphite is pretty good. 
It is not as good as the art graph graphite that we got in the November water soluble graphite box. I really enjoyed that series of products better than this box, but it is good. I, I can't say that it's not good. I'm excited to play and work with it. Um, I think it's going to be fun to work with. I did test it. This didn't come in the box, but I have a um, dual ended eraser and I did test it and I can show you here that the graphite does erase away as a highlight if you work hard enough at it. This is the harder eraser and it actually works a little nicer with the harder eraser. But I don't want to rip the paper, but it does work with a, um, an eraser to erase it away, um, which is kind of neat. That's pretty much the good of the box. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. This Velvet Touch paintbrush is amazing. So it's really nice. I made all these lines with it. You can see we get varied different types of lines. I'm excited to use this to make our art piece. That's where the good ends, though. Because, first of all, this guy. This guy came broken. And then, where did it go? It, like, rolled away. But if you watch the video, here it is. It's back here. If you watched the video when I sharpened it with just a normal sharpener, this whole thing just busted right off of it. So I had to sharpen it really far down just to get it to sharpen. And then it did highlight, but like I'm afraid to even sharpen it to a point. So it's kind of, kind of useless to me as a highlight. Like watch, it does go over everything. There's an example. It does go over it, but it's not going to create sharp lines and it's, chalky and it's not something I can scribble out on the palette to get lighter colors which with gouache you definitely want because it's not transparent like a watercolor so I don't know this is kind of a stinker for me I would much have preferred having a um a white gouache like a small tube of white gouache of any kind would have been better than this next these pens they're okay they kind of are water soluble a little bit. I'm not really sure how I'm even going to insert them into the piece. I love these pens for bullet journaling, um, but I don't know. I'm not terribly excited about them. They feel like an office supply and not an art supply. So this is kind of the stinker pile over here. Not, not this. I guess we'll make it here. Good pile, bad pile, middle pile. Because this guy is fine. But it says it's waterproof, and it is not waterproof. I tested it three different spots. It's not waterproof, kids. It runs like, it, like crazy. Like, look how it's creating a shadow there. So I can't use this for an underpainting if I'm going to put water on top of it. And if you give me gouache and you give me fluid graphite, I'm going to use water. So it's definitely going to be something later. Oh, one other thing. I did take this pen and scribble it in my palette and add a little fluid graphite to it, and that's how I got this swatch right here. Um, so I might, that might be the way that I use these. I might only use this one, and I might do that to create kind of like a backwash on the paper before I make an art piece. So um, overall, I'm kind of disappointed in this box. I'm, I haven't looked at the pricing on anything yet, but um, I really, really feel very strongly that if I had been given at least one more, maybe two more gouache tubes, this box would have knocked it out of the park. This is hot press watercolor paper. There is a great time to have fine liners in a box when you have marker paper or liner paper, and that is the purpose of the box. But if you're going to give me wet media, give me things to work with wet media, not things that seem like they don't really fit in the box at all. So. We're going to see what happens. Um, I'm going to do an art piece and hopefully it'll turn out all right.
All right, guys, so now that I'm finished with my piece, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I think and then do an is it worth it section with the prices of everything. So first of all, um, I really like how my piece turned out. It gave me an excuse to do trees, and you guys know how much, if you've watched anything on my channel, I love trees. And I was able to get a good amount of depth. Um, on the trees between the acrylic gouache and watering down the gouache and then also using this fluid graphite to actually like make it a little bit darker and that's pretty much the way I use the graphite. I also took this fine liner and scribbled it all over the palette if you watched it so it scribbled all over the palette and watered it down with some fluid graphite to do the background to do that sky um, I know it's kind of subtle, it's hard to see, but it is definitely a nice blue sky. And um, so yeah, that all worked really nicely. I did use the gray fine liner to draw some little birds at the end. Um, and that's about it. I really didn't use this. I tried to streak in a little bit of white with, um, like, in the sky, and that worked a little bit well. The brush was great. This is an amazing brush, but it is, for for my purposes, for the way that I work, you'll notice in the video I used two other brushes. So I started with this one, but making trees with this brush was a little bit of a challenge. Um, that's not to say it's not an amazing brush. It's just, I know what I like to do, and I knew what I wanted to do here. So I did use this to wash the paper just because it would be faster. And I did use this round six in order to do some of the out, like the more detailed trees on the front. Um, so that is the piece of art, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, so now let's talk about whether or not this box was worth it. So here I did my price comparison, and I will put the price comparison here so you can see it. So is it worth it? So Sketchbox values this whole box at fifty dollars and sixty one cents. Um, I did look around, and the only thing I couldn't find a match for was the Hannah Muley paper. It's not something that I could directly compare very easily. Um, I used this 1269 Hannah Muley 8x11 12 sheet pad, which I would think would be comparable. But let's say we take $4 away from my, my final price was $48.17. Let's assume that this is priced fairly, because I do believe it is. And let's say $44.17 is my final uh, price for what I could pay for this box. And to be honest with you guys, um, that's a thumbs down for me. I feel like this box could have been such a winner. Um, but I, I really don't... I, I These four things right here were basically unusable. And even the fine liner, like I, I didn't use it because it, it wasn't waterproof. So these four things could have been translated into one white gouache and one other color of gouache and it would have been such an amazing box because this gouache was incredible the paintbrush was incredible the, the paper was really great like these these things were amazing and the fine liner was fine i do think like let's even say we keep this i still think you could have taken the price of these four items and you could have traded it in for two smaller tubes of gouache maybe one one white for sure like white gouache instead of this white pencil would have been so much better and maybe like either a complementary color like an orange orangey red or like something that's even like this color or this color translated maybe even the lime translated into a gouache it, that would have been so much fun I, to work in like a monochrome or like a, a complementary color palette would have been so cool. So I, I, I'm, you know, I love Sketchbox. I'm not going to stop getting Sketchbox, but I really think a couple of tweaks could have made this one of the best boxes I've ever gotten from them. Oh, and I'm sorry, the fluid graphite goes in this pile too. It was good. I liked it. We did just get fluid graphite last November, and I liked that fluid graphite better. But this fluid graphite is good, and it was fun, and I liked the opportunity to play with it. So I would still keep this and this, and then if you add a white and one other color, the palette would have been amazing to work with and would have been really fun for somebody that likes wet media. Like these are wet media products, these are not wet media products, and you gave me watercolor paper. So 
Um, that's kind of how I feel this all shakes out. I hope that this video gave you some insight into this box and whether or not you want to test these supplies for yourself. If you liked everything, please remember to like and subscribe before you leave today. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.